Hello everybody, this is Rolf Brother Red 95 and I would like to talk about my good old friend the AN94 Abakan Assault Rifle designated 6B33 by GRU. This rifle was first introduced in 1994 as a possible replacement for the AK-74. Besides the ammunition, the magazine and the pistol grip, the Abakan is a completely different beast from the AK. The AN94 is chambered in the dubbed Poison Bullet 5.45 by 39 mm cartridge. In full auto, it fires at 600 rounds per minute, yet it is when set to burst fire that this gun truly excels, sending two bullets in a hyper burst mode of 1800 rounds per minute. This is achieved through a system in which a cable connects the bolt carrier to the barrel. After the first shot leaves it, causes this to attract and chamber the second round which is lodged already in a secondary chamber, thus resulting in the hyperburst, which in real life extends to the first two shots in full auto. For this method of operation to be possible, the magazine well must be canted. In the game, the AN-94 does behave more or less in line with its real-life counterpart. The rifle has 24.5 max damage and 18 minimum. The drop-off starts at 12.5 meters and ends at 60. Note that the AN-94 will one burst headshot up to 18 meters. In full auto the gun fires at 600 rounds per minute and on burst it fires at 1200 rounds per minute with a 700 burst per minute delay. These projectiles fly out of your barrel at 620 meters per second or 350 meters suppressed and the rifle is zeroed at 75 meters. Now, reload is one of the gun's weak spots. With 3.5 second reload whilst empty and a 2.4 reload with a round in a chamber. Recoil wise, it is quite stable with a 0.32 vertical and a mild pull to the right of 0.12 and 0.1 to the left. With the first short recoil multiplier of 2.1 in burst fire, the multiplier affects the second round only. Same as with the recoil, spread-wise it might be one of the most accurate assault rifles in Battlefield 4, with a spread increase of 0.078 and a decrease of 17.3. Now the spread takes me to my go-to attachment for the AN-94. The heavy barrel makes this gun so accurate that up to 30 meters you will have only one point of impact for the two bullets of the burst fire mode. This accuracy comes with a downside though. Your vertical recoil gets increased to 0 0.416. Huh, irony. I would also stay away from all sorts of grips in, in case of this gun in particular since every single grip now adds a penalty to your spread decrease per second increasing it by about 20% Therefore, it will take more time for you to get, to, to get back on target with your accuracy, for your bullet bloom to decrease. Even the potato grip and the stubby grip, which technically increase your accuracy by increasing your... I'm sorry, decreasing your spread increase by 20%, even then, they become kind of useless, because in case of getting close quarters, you will need to spam the trigger really fast with that two round burst mode. You just don't want to go on close quarters in full auto. Believe me, I've tried, it's a bad idea. Stick with the burst fire at all times, for both range and close quarters. Therefore, you might want to maintain it as accurate as possible, because picture this, you have to transition from a close range target to a long range target on burst fire. If it comes to it, and you have a grip, your first burst on might be on tile, but your third burst might completely overshoot. And your third and your fourth, therefore, you become kind of a move, just a moving target. It's target practice for the guy at range. You might have a machine gun instead of a sniper rifle or a DMR. You might be biported down and have a good base of fire to take you out. Remember that. One of the main advantages of the AN-94 over other assault rifles is, it, is it, uh, I'm sorry, is its versatility since it can actually engage targets from close quarters up to um, up into a pretty good range about 140 meters i managed to see on uh, test range i could still get uh, positive hits at 143 meters roughly with one burst therefore if you pace him out fair enough 
fairly enough, you might get a couple good impacts and maybe even get a kill at those ranges instead of just suppressing a target. But you need to keep in mind that this gun is not exactly close quarters material, so you're still not going to be matching, say, an AEK-971, which in my opinion still is the go-to close quarters assault rifle, even now beating the Bulldog and mostly of the most carbines, basically only outgunned by PDWs, which, thank God, finally took a buff, because those things were kind of useless in game modes like Rush. Though I do not want... now... Let's be honest here. DICE did get it, get it right when they did not make them so good like they are in Hardline, where a freaking K-10 can absolutely dominate the battlefield. I mean, there is nothing you can do against that. Come on, Visceral! Jesus! Uh, sorry for the rant here, guys. But, um, honestly, the A-94 is quite capable of dealing with targets in close quarters, especially if you can hit those headshots. If you can really hit those headshots, you're gonna see this gun is just beautiful. Now, don't be afraid also of hip firing if need comes. I've been getting a couple good kills in burst, in burst fire mode while hip firing. No problem. Now, do keep in mind, it is accuracy that matters in Battlefield 4. Headshots are the most important thing to get when you're dealing with infantry. Don't go for body shots, go with a headshot. Aim for the head. If you get it right, you're gonna kill the guy. He has no way of fighting you. If, you, if it's a matter of skill there, if you go for the head, you might be able to outgun a level 140. Now, there is something I forgot to mention earlier. It is said that a truly marksman with the A94 in real life can land two shots on target at about 100 meters, one right behind the other, basically without the cone of fire spreading out. The two rounds can impact directly one on top of the other. This is meant to defeat body armor in real life. Not exactly to deal extra damage to body tissue, but to be able to penetrate body armor. So basically the idea is the first round shatters the armor plating in a carrier, and the second round goes through, causing lethal wounding. The 5.45, especially if this is uh, 7N6, which is now banned in the United States since 2014, because it was considered armor piercing, it is not armor piercing, actually, because it uses a mild steel core. What happens is this round, it is actually hard to stabilize. And what happens after it penetrates soft tissue, it tumbles and yaws, causing external, I'm sorry, internal damage, internal tissue damage, <laughs> in a really catastrophic way. The permanent cavity is quite lethal. Now, that doesn't really translate very well into the game, since the damage module of this gun makes it so that it is a five-shot kill in the torso. Same thing as the M16 and the 5.56 rounds in the game that um, do not really... The 5.45 does not really get depicted as well in Battlefield as it, would, as it should have been. Since this, this, uh, this round is more stable in air, Although harder to stabilize, but it, it end up, ends up being more stable, more aerodynamic than the 5.56, thus reaching further distances, maintaining better muzzle velocity, and basically being more accurate, technically. Now, the AK system does not really favor accuracy, but the AN-94 does, in both ways, both fully automatic, burst fire, or even in semi-automatic, which is basically useless. I mean, who, who, in the, or even in real life, the semi-automatic is really that useful, the A94. And for a lot, it's fairly controllable to, do to, uh, to the low recoil that it actually has in real life. Actually lower than you can actually expect in Battlefield 4, if you were to compare. Same situation with the AEK. The AEK also has a heck of a lot of recoil in real life, whilst in game... I'm sorry. It has a heck of a lot of recoil in game whilst in real life is really stable due to the counterweight system, but I will do a review on the AK sooner or later. Don't worry about it, that is guaranteed. But actually, in the end, it's my one of my favorite guns in Battlefield since Battlefield Bad Company 2. So yeah. Now, another thing I would like to talk about is the net code. And sometimes the net code for Battlefield 4 can be kinda tricky. It still isn't perfect and of times I have been in the need of shooting my target more than three times, or basically putting more than three bursts on target. One of the things I did notice in test range, and test range I don't know if you guys know this now, it actually depicts how many, how much damage you need to transmit on target. Other testing that I did proves even with the defensive field upgrade, three bursts should be enough at all ranges. 
scouting the tar all, all two rounds to burst both rounds to burst hit the target therefore if I had to shoot my target more than five times that was because my bullets were not registering that may happen because the 1200 RPM rate of fire the burst fire messing up the net code uh, battle nonsense did a video about uh, how rate of fire affects uh, affects um, the, the the registration of the rounds um, I'll, I'll probably leave the link not <laughs> I mentioned it call out to battle nonsense great videos has helped me out a lot lately and yeah that's basically it the a94 really is the top dog of the soul rifles in my opinion and with this we conclude this video uh, the a94 review my second review I kind of went off the script here so pardon me English is not even my native tongue so I might mispronounce a couple of things I'm sorry but yeah, oh, and big call to Billy Eat World, who really inspired me to make these kind of videos as well, to try my luck at YouTube. Thanks, man. And you guys have a nice one.